Come with me on a culinary journey to understand what has made Kuka over the last 10 years one of the top foodie destinations. Understand the stories and the ideas behind all of our signature dishes. Not only how they are created, but what makes them magic and how we use local ingredients in exciting new ways. Find out what all the foodies are continuing to talk about. Hawaiian cracker. So growing up in Canada, our versions of pizzas were unique. I mean, we don't have all the classic Italian options. We kind of had everything piled on top of bread, was pretty much the concept. Now out of all the pizzas that we used to order as a young kid, my absolute favorite was the Hawaiian. The Hawaiian being classic in Canada, actually created in Canada. 1962, the Hawaiian pizza was actually created in Canada, and it's something that we truly kind of called our own. Italians don't even consider the Hawaiian pizza a part of the family of pizzas. Uh, they hate it. The idea of putting pineapple on a pizza, it's bad. I won't even go into reasons. It's really bad. We've, we've had arguments in Kuka about the ideas. But we don't call it a pizza, we call it a Hawaiian cracker. So created in Canada, the idea of pineapple on top of a pizza, odd, extremely delicious. I found it to be the most tasty out of all the pizzas. Uh, I loved the flavor profile. It was sweet, it was sour, it was salty, it was bitter, it was aromatic, it was tasty. And the fact that nobody else really liked it just allowed me for more pizza just for me. So with that in mind, the classic is always made with absolute trash. I mean, you have horrible dough, you've got bad cheap cheese, you've got garbage ham, pineapple that comes out of a can, uh, and a tomato sauce that is good for nothing. So that's basically what the pizza's made of. And it's delicious. The, the idea of a dish being extremely delicious when it's made with absolute garbage is extremely interesting. So what if it was made with the best things that you could get your hands on? What if you recreated that flavor profile in a new way with the best possible stuff? So instead of a thick doughy bottom, we do a super thin cracker with different types of seeds. We do a sauce with barbecued tomato, onion, garlic, and pepper. That's then kind of chunky emulsified that has a nice zip to it, slightly smoky. We do double smoked bacon in-house. Uh, gently smoked scarmosa cheese done by a local Italian cheesemaker. We've got pineapple that we get young so it's still green and we slice it thin and in a solution of vinegar and salt and sugar uh, and clove, beautiful fresh cloves from the mountains in Bali, we make a kind of like a sweet and sour syrup that gently poaches this young pineapple. And when it's all said and done, my God, not only is it an excellent tribute to Canada, but it converts all of those full of hatred about a Hawaiian pizza to absolutely love Kuka's Hawaiian Cracker.